夢ならばどれほど良かったでしょう。未だにあなたのことを夢に見る。忘れたものを取りに帰るように。古びた思い出の誇りを払う。戻らない。So she has the overall picture. She makes a few changes, and then once she's happy with it, she starts to write. And she says she has that on her laptop, and she doesn't have to do many ring writes because why would she? It's all there. And she's a pro prolific writer, and most prolific writers have this kind of system. So can you say how this is? Work out what the rules are. Have a structure. And then we can be creative within that structure. And quite often people ask, come up and say, "Oh, I'm thinking about writing a book. Have you got any advice?" And I usually say, "Well, don't have advice from me. Have advice from J.K. Rowling. She's not done. She's done pretty well, hasn't she? Yeah. So this is how. If we want to find a strategy that works, let's look at the people who are really good at this stuff." And copy their strategy. We might not write as well as them, but we'll probably it will improve our performance. Will help us be our creative best. What I'd like to do is、um, maybe share with you、um, the, an example, a strategy for creativity that you can use in your classroom. So if we go to the most creative people, Walt Disney is someone that's considered a creative genius. In the 1930s, his, he, he, he wanted to have feature-length films that were cartoons, and people said, "No, it's a daft idea. People would get bored of the characters and so on."、Um, and then another, his other most creative idea happened when he was. When he took his daughters, Walt Disney had two daughters, and he took them to a park, a playground, and it wasn't a very good playground. It had a swing and a roundabout, but not much else. And as he was playing with his daughters, he started to think, what would be the best playground in the world? What would be a playground that I'd love to take my daughters to? And he said, and he thought, oh, my daughters have been reading Alice in Wonderland. Wouldn't it be brilliant if they could actually meet the characters? If the Mad Hatter came and introduced himself to my daughters, if they could meet Alice, they could go on her adventure with her. Wouldn't it be brilliant if they could have loads of fairground rides to to go on? Wouldn't it be brilliant if? And he just starts to imagine what the best playground would be, and that's where. The idea for Disneyland developed, and when people who worked with Walt Disney were interviewed, they'd say you never knew which Walt would turn up to a meeting, whether it would be the the dreamer, the realist, or the critic. And so, one of the modelers、um, of, within NLP, he modelled what Disney did to be creative. And this is something you could try in your classrooms. So we have four positions. So you might have four places in your classroom, and you would say to the children, "Right, we're going to take a problem now, 
or uh, something you want to think about creatively. And we're going to move between these four positions. And the first one is this, the dreamer, the visionary. So let's have that here, number one. So the children would stand here and they would think, let, let's think of a problem such as, what would be the best classroom in the world? So if we, there were no barriers to this, let's think of, if, if we were to walk into the perfect classroom as the teacher, what would it look like? So let's just imagine what the best classroom would be like. Has anyone got any thoughts? Any, any ideas? Yeah? Okay, wow. So we'd have a classroom that could fly. It could move to different places. That sounds pretty cool, doesn't it? Yeah? And, uh, and we could get lots of ideas like this. We would write them all down. We wouldn't assess any of them. We wouldn't say, well, that's not real. We would say, brilliant. Everyone's ideas would be welcomed and recorded. And then we might come up with, so someone uh, yesterday said we would have a classroom that was didn't have a roof as well. They, they said we'd, we'd have a classroom where 